and we, along with a number of other institutions and research teams around the country, have demonstrated that people with rheumatoid arthritis are at increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease, different kinds of heart disease. What has been challenging for each of our institutions, however, is uh, devising a way to identify individuals with RA that are particularly high risk so that we can implement preventive strategies. And so the motivation behind this risk score was really to bring together uh, researchers who are interested in this topic, who have data on this topic, have patient cohorts, bring them together, share our data, and create a risk score that can more accurately estimate cardiovascular risk in patients with RA uh, more accurately than the existing uh, scores that we use in the general population, like the Framingham risk score or the heart score that's used in Europe. There are completely new factors that are considered. All of the research that we've done and that other teams have done with respect to heart disease and rheumatoid arthritis demonstrate that major predictors of heart disease in this population have to do with rheumatoid arthritis itself. The disease, the inflammation, um, perhaps even the treatments used uh, in, in rheumatoid arthritis. And of course none of those factors exist in Framingham or, or in heart score. Um, so what's unique about this calculator is that it incorporates RA disease characteristics into the assessment of cardiovascular risk. There have been some studies uh, in the literature that show that people with other chronic diseases like diabetes, like chronic kidney disease, who are at elevated cardiovascular risk also have problems uh, utilizing the, us the Framingham risk score. So the Framingham risk score uh, seems to work less well in uh, people with those other chronic conditions, not only with rheumatoid arthritis, but with some of those other chronic conditions. And I think there's work underway now to adapt some of the, some of the existing scores or perhaps maybe devise uh, other scores that will be more accurate in those particular patient groups. So I think overall it gives us a sense that we need to think about the underlying conditions that a patient has in order to appropriately estimate their cardiovascular risk. This is a first step in creating uh, such a risk score. I think the next steps have a lot to do with validation. We've already done some tenfold validation and some multiple imputation uh, studies, but I think the next step is, is to continue the validation and really test it in different populations, understand how it performs in various populations so that we can develop a tool that can really be usable, um, individualized, if you will, or at least personalized uh, to patients in a whole variety of settings. At Mayo, we have developed, uh, in collaboration with our preventive cardiology colleagues, uh, a new clinic, actually. It's called uh, uh, Cardio Room Clinic, where rheumatologists and cardiologists collaborate to, uh, uh, advise, to assess and advise RA patients uh, regarding their cardiovascular risk and regarding what preventive measures uh, they, might, they will need to take to reduce that cardiovascular risk. And so I see tools like this one, hopefully this, uh, I see tools like the Attack RA um, a risk calculator being used in clinics such as our cardio room clinic. What we hope to do by you know, publicizing these studies and sharing them at ULAR and at ACR, sharing the results at ULAR and ACR is to invite a, a, a other uh, centers from elsewhere around the world to participate. There are uh, great cohorts in uh, Australia, there are great cohorts in Asia, there are great cohorts in India and perhaps even others in Africa that would really strengthen uh, this initiative. I think it's important for patients with rheumatoid arthritis to understand that uh, their disease alone confers an excess risk of cardiovascular disease, of heart disease, and to discuss that with their rheumatologist and perhaps uh, suggest that the rheumatologist uh, work with a, cardi uh, with a preventive cardiologist or a preventive cardiology clinic to, to together come up with a plan to reduce that patient's cardiovascular risk.